the pivot data. So with inside reporting, you can you know, create a chart and you can have the series be driven by a column, a column row, or you can have it driven by a column field. So each column field to be with inside you know, the series. So and that's using the pivot data. And most people, you know, we didn't really we didn't expose it in the old designer. Uh, and we included in the new in 3.5, but we didn't have any sample reports that went with it. So I'm going to show you show how to create one real simple here within uh, within, within this release. So I'm just going to go and hit new report. I'm going to select my data source. This is going to be against the OLAP connection so I can get a easily get the date trend. Dates in, in a column. So it's just a much easier process. Flip over to my user console and I'm going to load up this line trend. This is the query I want. And this is typically what most people do is they build the query with inside the user console, copy it, and then add a query and then paste that it directly into the designer. So you'll see, boom, those are the columns that we're using. So to create a chart, I'm just going to drag and drop a chart onto the report. Give some room here so we can see it. So I'm going to use the the category set data collector. Really, is like charting by charting the series by a row. I'm going to do it by column the series by. So my categories are still going to be um, the, the different uh, product lines, the values. So what I'm going to use as a value is the, the each one of these columns is a value column. So 2000. Three. Really wish there was an easier way to just select. Hey, I want all these columns, but for right now, this is what we have to do. Might be a better dynamic way of doing it later on. And then I'll specify my value. So now that I got my the columns across, they can have I can rename those so I don't have the. This is just a a, a naming a name that I can probably so I click Q1 2003, Q2 2003, Q4 2, 3, And then mark this one up to again 2004. All right, I have that. And then I'm done. So I'm kind of just I'm saying that the series is going to be um, based on my value columns, and the category is going to be product line. And OK here, preview, and that's what it would look like on a bar. And I'm just going to select line now, so it's a better way of seeing a series over time. So there you go, and then we can add some things to it where, you know, I can set the uh, background color to white. I could set the markers on so it's a little more legible, and as well as I'll just make the markers bigger to two. Okay, and then there's your chart using the new pivot, using that pivot. Uh, collector.
Okay. And I've have like in, you know renditions of this where you know I showed you in the previous of the OLAP customs the same type of chart, but I'm just controlling it with a parameter.